Hello guys, this is a short video on uh, the use of the Rhino in Armour 3 Warlords. Um, a lot of people using the Rhino, um, a lot of people getting blown up, so uh, a lot of people hating on the Rhino as well, but I just thought I'd show you how I set it up. Um, it's quite quite an effective tool. Okay, so this is the basic setup I would use. I would drop in uh, a couple of anti-air guys to my position. Three, move left. Um, Four, move left. What I'd first of all do is make sure that I put them further away so they don't give away my location. So I'm just gonna just gonna send them away. But this is really just to show you. Three, move 400 meters southwest. So we don't Four, need to. Move 300 meters right. Five, I need to actually move use 300 them. meters right. But that's what I would do. I don't have here. Um, and if people are hunting for the rhino, they might get a nasty surprise. It's quite a nice double double whammy. Um, what I do is I drop in a rhino and I drop in an ammo truck. And then what I do is I would hide them in one of these buildings. So let's just open this. Now it's a tight fit. If you you have to use the rhino without the additional armor because it won't fit in otherwise. The, the the wider rhino does not fit. So let's just drive this in here. It will be a bit of a tight Unknown contact. Green, my nine, idiot three, guy will get in the three, way. One, five, Niner. We'll go in. Grid one, he says. Six, six. One, three, four. Man down! Oh, this is not going well. So, it does go in. Honestly, I don't drive like this in real life. Get in. Whenever you show something to somebody else, it always goes wrong. <laughs> get in okay so once you've got it in drive it to the far end and you can do this in all these buildings get it positioned so that it's near the rear doors okay let's get out and now what we can do is open the bottom door here we only need one door open for this so we just open that door it doesn't give the position away too much we might move that forward a tad in a minute what I then do is obviously take the oh oh he's dead that's really helpful <laughs> we um then take that ammo truck, do the same thing. Hopefully, we won't make quite such a meal of this. Look at that, easy. Pop the ammo truck in. Now, in Warlords, you'll need a guy, the guy I've just run over, uh, in the truck uh, to prevent it despawning. But what this does is obviously gives you limitless, limitless ammunition. Uh, so we'll just hop in the gunner's position, he says, jumping into the gunner. Unknown contact. Grid one, so six, we'll jump into four, the gunner's one, position. Seven, seven. Unknown Get contact. the gun set up so Grid it's firing one, out. Six, and six, avoiding that building, one, which is a three, bit of a tight four. squeeze. Uh, then we'll load up with uh, 80 GM LG rounds, because this is what we need to fire from distance. And we'll also tell it to be top down. If you look in the top right hand corner, it's not on top down at the moment. If you push F, it goes to top down. That's what that little arrow means. It just means it, 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 it attacks from a top down position. It's far more effective. Okay, so what we'll do now is I've set some drones up, so we'll open a drone. He says, and we'll pick one other drone. So we'll pick pick drone number one. See what's up, drone number one. So here's drone number one. So we are uh, to the f to the end of the airfield. There, you need to tell us you can see. So we can have a little look around. Can't see anything at the moment. Let's get it hovering. Let's take the turret controls and just see what we've Fast got. Mover, two clicks east. Change the night vision. Anybody around? We need to. Doesn't appear to be too much here at the moment, which is great. Bizarrely, since I put them there. Never mind. So we'll release this one, and we'll go to a different drone. Let's try this one. <laughs> I think. So there we are. So let's just auto hover on. Take turret controls. Let's have a little look. So we've got targets here. So let's just start with. We'll start with this tank. So turn the laser on, target it. Now what can happen, and I'm not sure why, is it that the, the drone can wander off, the target can wander off. But let's just try this. So we'll go back to go back to our position, push R to lock the target. Now what I need to do is make the range a bit wider on the sensor on the right there. So if you hold down control and push the bracket, take it out to about 8K, now you can see your target there. Right, let's hope we don't hit the building here. I part it slightly badly to a fire away. Yep, that's gone. It's a bit tight, but never mind. Might want to move that. Fire off a couple of rounds. Go back to the turret control and let's see what happens. Hopefully, they will come in, come in, and hit these targets. We'll see. Sometimes they wander off. It's not looking terribly good. Oh, that's good. First hit. There should be a second one on the way. 
Yeah, the guys have bailed out. You can see the guys have bailed out. Second hit. He hasn't destroyed it. They're pretty hard to kill, those Angurus. But uh, the guys have bailed out, so... Uh, if we if we were to fire a, fire a couple more rounds, we'd definitely kill that. Let's just R to lock it. You can see the box appears on the red laser target. It tells you, sometimes even tells you what the target is. Fire those rounds. Ooh, just nearly missed that building. It is quite possible to blow yourself up doing this. Uh, get back to the turret controls. Let's just drop this one on. First round on here. Just hit T for target. You don't really need to, but it, the laser's on it. Just gives you an idea. So the round should be incoming. Fingers crossed. Yep, that's hit that. Still doesn't seem to have killed it. Doesn't want to kill it. Let's see what else there is we can kill. Uh, oh, no, shit. No, can't see anything else. I don't know what's going on with the rounds. Probably missed it while I wasn't looking. You know what? I might remake this video. <laughs> Let's target again. Let's go. Ah, oh. see the see we still got full, full ammunition because we got the truck next to us. It's really helpful. We're pretty hard to see as well in here, so let's just see if we can get this one. It never goes on, on when you show when you're showing people how to do things, does it? Comes around. It's quite a way away, so it has hit it. Hasn't killed it though. Yeah, it has now. So that one, two rounds, that one's blown up. So there we are. Nice, easy kill. Let's zoom out a little bit, see what else there is. Quite often, it's quite useful to use the night vision if you've got different targets. So there's something over here, for example. There's a helicopter in the air there. Now, if people are stupid enough to hover in game, and they bizarrely they are, this tank will just about kill helicopters as well. Let's just go to the uh, turret control. We're on target, people do hover in the game. And if they're stupid enough to do it and you've got a rhino, you can take them out. So if you've got guys on the ground, no, I think that one missed. And it's not going to work. In game, it does work though. Let's just try again. No, oh, but it does work. I guess <laughs> we missed it. There he is, shot down. Oh well, we'll drop this one on this one. So in game, if people are stupid enough to hover, and you, you've got a guy on the ground with a laser, or you've got a drone up, uh, you can take them out as well, which is uh, which is great fun. Particularly because it confuses them, they think they've been hit by anti-air, which means they go looking for anti-air, which is great fun. So, we'll work. yep, there we go. So, we'll just release this one. We'll go to our third, our third uh, drone. See where that one is. So, this one is absolutely miles away, over the top of Piragos. Uh, just confirm that. Yeah, up here, Argos. Auto hover on. Let's just have a look at the turret controls. And we'll night vision this just in case anybody. Yep, there's a tank here. Okay, great. So we'll zoom in. These guys are <laughs> brilliantly positioned. Looks like I've already blown that up. Uh, a long way away. So this is Piragos, which is a long, long way away. Let's see if we can uh, attack that. Let's target it. And we'll fire. Uh, this is going to take a bit of a while to get there, so we might put two or three rounds down range. When you've got a bit of distance, you can put more rounds down range. That means that you can move your laser around and pick up the target. So we'll just see if we can get back on target quick enough. It's, it is a bit of timing, so it's quite a long way away. Lasers not on, lasers on now. Oops, that was close. That was lucky. Do you know what? I think I've targeted the wrong thing. We just fired all those rounds at the wrong location. Okay. Unknown contact. Grid one seven four one three one. So what we did there probably is pick the wrong target. So let's pick the right target this time. There we go. One. Two. Okay, third round away. Let's go back to the terminal and see what we got. So this is obviously Piragos, which is kind of a long way at the other end of the map. So I don't know quite what will happen. It should target it and hit it. So the rounds take a while to get here. Which is a boring video, but we'll see. This is the point where they fly off somewhere else. Just zoom out a little bit. Now in game, you can with the good use of the Rhino, you can prevent Opfall from taking towns. Just you know, first rounds in. 
not a great hit. Um, my aiming's off, but there we go, you get the idea. And in game you can pick off pick off guys, pick off tanks. Uh, but that's that just gives you an idea that even even from Hiragos, which is you know a long way from where we are, that's pretty effective uh, pretty effective fire. Okay. So there we are, that's that's it. Just to say, uh, we'll just take control of one of the drones again. Um, if we take control of drone two, which I think is the one, no, drone one maybe, three maybe, I don't know. The one over the airfield, if we turn them round, look back our, in our direction. So straight back up the road, get the turret on. See if we can see ourselves. And generally, it's pretty hard to spot us. So there's no bloom from the tank because it's in the shed. The rhino is basically hidden. We'll just fly over and have a look. But you, it's a pretty good hiding place, which I've just obviously completely given away. But there are lots of those, lots of those buildings on the map, so you can find your own, and you can see you can fire from a long, long way away. So there's another. If you look down the map, there's another one, another one down on the left there, another one there. So there are lots of buildings to hide in. Oh, hello. We can see us. I oh know that's a helicopter, which there you go. So that's what the AI guys do. That jet, that's the jet that was I, that I placed on the runway. It's come off, looking for us. And um, the AI guys, I, the anti-air guys I put there, I clearly shot it down. So that sort of demonstrates that that's really useful. There's our shed with us in. Um, nothing on night vision. There's the guy that I ran over is the only clue that we're there. And that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed that.